Hi, this is Pendle from Sound Dust, and I thought I'd give you a little view of the Omnisphere um, patch library, lost and found, that myself and the mighty Matt Boldler of The Unfinished have made together. Um, this one is, I mean, it's a bit of an, uh, an extension of what both of us normally do. I, I, I'm generally known for making contact instruments. Matt um, is has done quite a few Omnisphere libraries and many other fantastic libraries but this one is a bit kind of possibly grungier and gnarlier than he would normally do so I think we've met somewhere in the middle in a quite a good place so I won't ramble on I probably will but I'll try not to ramble on what I'm going to do is quickly go through some of the patches um, from kind of my perspective um, possibly there might be more of the ones I've done because I understand them a bit more but um, just to show you some of the things that are possible with this with this wondrous noisy thing. Um, I'm in just in alphabetical mode here, although it doesn't seem to be that alphabetical. So these are the lost and found patches here, of which there are a gazillion. Now from my point of view, I've Matt doesn't necessarily know this, but a lot of what I was doing was based around um, Brian Eno's album On Land, which is one of my favourite albums of all time. And there are patches dedicated to each track off that album out of interest and if uh, something says thanks Brian in the comments and that's probably because it's a you know based thingamabob um, but I'm just going to go through semi-randomly uh, starting with Ballroom of the Nautilus which now the instructions here are quite useful because they do give you an idea of what is I'm just now adding mod wheel and what I like to do with a lot of my patches is on aftertouch you get a bit of a pitch bend. So that's now mod wheel off. Okay, I won't stay too long there. Bode nothingness. These aren't devised, these aren't separated by their genre, so they could jump all over the shop. But there are a lot of these kind of drifty, floaty patches. So every time it wobbles, it's probably because I've added some aftertouch. And these will work. Some will work better than others in different parts of the keyboard. In this particular case, pitch wheel, uh, mod wheel up adds more nothingness, if that's in any way possible. Tron. Kids TV, circa 1968. So let's um, put the mod wheel on. Mod wheel down. Very Kids TV. Uh, diving bell. This is, um, watch out for mermaids basically. Here comes the mod wheel. I'll be going under. Yeah. So there's a bit of aftertouch there as well. Uh, there's a series of infinite ones. Now, what I've done here is let's do infinite. Oh, is the mod wheel is now um, can trap the reverb. So if you, you can catch notes, basically, if I play a note, mod wheel in. So now that's kind of locked in the reverb and I can add other things on top of that. Bit of note bending on aftertouch. Mod wheel off. And that goes for anything with a with an infinite prefix. Uh, here's another one. Mod wheel on. You have to catch it at the right moment. But there you go, mod wheel on. More kind of sound designy gnarliness more than anything. Uh language steel is a kind of guitar-y thing. Uh, 
Prince of Canada. Slow and wheezy. was the plan here, I think. Every time it wobbles, it's because I've probably added some aftertouch. Uh, and the sound is only unpleasantness. Oops, we had to mod wheel on. There we go, mod wheel going on. Let's play low on the keyboard. So, you know, with all these patches, I mean, you can also get in there and, and into the nitty gritty of it and, and actually edit bits yourself as well, but always play around with mod wheel and have to touch if you've got it set up. It's a very handy thing. Uh, a lot of slow things generally are quite slow to build. Talos's heel. Remember Jason the Argonauts and there's that huge brass guy and oh no it's bronze excuse me and they have to kind of uh, they have to kind of empty him and they unscrew his heel. I love that sound I've always loved that sound and this was my attempt to get it. Oops, no, I'll be So there you go, scratchy, unpleasant, metallic horribleness. Sometimes very handy. Chattering classes. I'll say no more. Good for kind of buildy uppy risery things. Uh, typing pool beauty. This is the um, mating of a typewriter with a music box, like you do. Uh, here's some Brian stuff. Shh, don't tell Brian. Uh, on land. kind of floaty, ambient, kind of threatening and yet kind of lovely thing. A few variations on this. Uh, and all of these patches will kind of slowly build and evolve and kind of things will happen especially with the mod wheel and the like okay, moving swiftly on this is using the kind of modulated envelopes that atmosphere is very good at adding some mod wheel Coming off. Behind the curtain. Another kind of buildy thing. Uh, sorry, Matt, if I'm doing mainly yours. Sorry, mainly mine. 
um, like I say, it's because I kind of know them better. Creaky saddle. Mod wheel there, speed. And landing. Uh, strings, Dead Sea strings. These have got a kind of bit of guitar in there. If you hit, if more velocity, add a bit of that, less velocity. Add the mod wheel. That's chords. Beach, down the road from where I live. Well, quite a long way. Terrible road as well to trying to get there. Funny place. Beautiful, kind of harsh, and with a huge power station on it. And here comes the power station. <laughs> what would Derek John say? Whereas Dunwich Beach is more of a Brian Eno style beach. More kind of use of the lovely throbbing modulated envelopes. Uh, engaged tone boogie. The phones are making love. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, mm. glass arm monocle based on lots of rubbed glass, like a glass harmonica, the devil's own instrument. Straight note is here. Uh, mod wheel. Mod wheel. Uh, after touch. Horror, horror, horror films. on to let's do uh, 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 uh. what's the itch oh, this is one of Matt's done some fantastic really excellent gnarly hard bass thingies that's one of them I think there's some really lovely See, these are mainly Matt's ones down here. Lovely ladies. There are quite a lot of lovely ladies in Omnisphere already, and it's nice to use them. Um, another brand you know you one. This is all one one note, by the way, one finger. Much lower. Mod wheel. Nice kind of mythical atmosphere -y thing. Uh, lizard point. Another brownie one. Crunchy.
motion atmospheric. Uh, Mosquito choir. I've got a bit of a penchant for trying to make things sound like insects. This one, if you go high up on the keyboard. And birds, starlings. Oh, it's a bit of a train actually. I live in Brighton and every student film ever made in the area has the huge starling murmurations flying around the pier. And they do kind of sound a bit like this actually, when they go over your head, they're amazing. TV again. Let's go on the keyboard. Uh, Postgate. More kids TV. Oliver Postgate. Genius. than they would have used in the 60s. Hey-ho. Uh, oh, one of Matt's fantastic basses. Let's go down. Absolutely love that. Uh, orchestra. I've spent actually... For sound dust, my own thing, I have actually, I do actually have a um, Stradivarius saw. They really, I suspect it's not the real Stradivarius, but you, there is a Stradivarius saw brand, which I've spent a lot of time trying to learn to play and try and learn to record. And I was going to make a library called Saw Orchestra, and I've never quite pulled it off because they're buggers to play. Let's go a bit higher. So, this is an orchestra made from straws, saws, it's not real up. Keyboard. There we go. Kind of 
deep colour complex. Slapstick. Uh, tranny organ. Very simple. Soft. That's I have to touch. And some tremor, some um, mod wheel. And uh, another floating and spacey one. Oops, hold on, one wheel off. Going up. next to see huge expanses of sand. And it actually is called Wells Next to the Sea. It's not a typo. So that was a quick go through. It wasn't that quick, was it? Some of the, um, oh, can you hear a cat? That's a cat, that's not on this sphere. That's my cat has just come to pester me. Go away, Skittles, go away. Um, that was a quick run through some other of the patches that uh, didn't possibly see the light of the day in, in Matt's wonderful video. He says he was really grumpy in that one, but he seems quite jolly to me. Um, I hope that's been of help. You can uh, go to Matt's site to buy this thing, The Unfinished. Um, I'll put the website address up where you can see more of my stuff at Sounddust, Sounddust, sound-dust.co.uk. I think it's a really nice set of stuff and it's nice to see Omnisphere used in a kind of slightly less epic cinematic kind of way, although it is kind of quite cinematic as well. Um, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Bye bye. Bye-bye, Skittles.